The great conflict encompassing all of Kerbin has finally come to an end. Kerbalkind has united to defeat fascism. In the aftermath, two ideas have emerged. Democracy and communism. Now, two ideals vie for supremacy. This is Echo 3. And let's discuss the Cold War. Who will emerge victorious? Here, at the research and development arm of the Central Kerbin Alliance Network, many tasks compete for our attention. Many private and government agencies will help fund our scientific endeavors. We will need to study Kerbin's land, atmosphere, and oceans, as well as the heavens themselves, in order to gain an edge on the communists. For now, we need to pick up our defense contractor and test out our first jet airplane. Let's make a good first impression on our defense contractor by making this jet a two-seater. Coming off of the Great Kerbal Conflict, we have many aircraft parts that are knowable to us. However, we will have to spend some funds in order to make them usable for our aircraft. Our humble facilities mean that we are still pretty limited as far as how big of an airplane that we can make. However, with solid fundamentals, we can still make a design that will work well for our purposes. We can give the wings a little bit of a dihedral angle in order to make the plane more stable and increase the angle of incidence so that the plane will have a lower stall speed and generate more lift. For simplicity, we can mount our two engines on a couple nacelles out on the wings. This should let us easily swap out parts if we intend to upgrade this design for future iterations. We will set up our landing gear in a tricycle arrangement. That should make takeoff and landing just a little bit easier. Maybe in the future, we will work on upgrading our landing gear for further designs. Jebediah Kerbin is a seasoned test pilot. I look forward to having him take out our new aircraft out for its maiden flight. Let's make sure we save these blueprints so that we can use them in the future. And let's mark this with our Central Kerbin Alliance Network flag. This is a pretty simple test flight. Jebediah just needs to get this aircraft off the ground. And if that works out well, he will fly it over to our defense contractor and pick him up. The plane accelerates down the runway. Jebediah pulls back on the stick and it takes off like a dream. This looks like we have developed a pretty stable first jet airplane. Jebediah banks around. Now he needs to just come in softly and hopefully pull the plane up right next to our defense contractor. We can see him over there in the distance. Jebediah is coming in pretty smoothly now. It looks like he's got good handling on the plane and it squeaks down onto our science facilities. Now Jebediah needs to taxi the plane right over to our contractor and that will fulfill both of our early contracts. Well done Jebediah, well done. It looks like we are off to a good start. Hopefully fortune favors us as we continue in our endeavors. As we recover our craft we can then go ahead and see what new contracts await us. It looks like we have a contract to do further testing on our airplane. If we can take it up to 2,500 meters, that would be good. And then let's see what other contract we should go for. It looks like we have one to explore this old fascist airbase that is nearby to our facilities. Let's go ahead and fly over there. That'll work out well. and That'll give us two contracts to work off of. It appears that there are many requests to keep us busy. We will take our two seasoned pilots Jebediah and Valentina in our new aircraft to fly over to the island airfield. This will be an excellent opportunity to test out some of the abilities of our aircraft as far as its altitude and endurance. Jebediah and Valentina are able to take off very smoothly and start flying directly towards the island airfield. The climb rate looks good, fuel usage looks good, so far everything is going according to plan. If we like what we see over at this island airfield, perhaps we will start using it for some of our missions as well. Jebediah is reporting just a little bit of slop in the yaw direction. It looks like the plane may need somewhat of a bigger vertical stabilizer if this is going to be on any longer missions, but that is good to know for future designs. It looks like Jebediah and Valentina are going to be pretty conservative on this landing, coming in fairly low and slowly as they approach the runway. It appears there's a couple things for us to check out. The control tower, and there seems to be something in one of the hangars for one of our pilots to go take a look at. I wonder what is here and what we will find. The plane does seem to be handling pretty well on this airfield. 
Valentina has volunteered to get out of the plane and check out what's going on in this hangar while Jebediah stays with the plane. It appears that the fascists had some kind of rocket program going on. We will need to get with it and start our own rocket program as well. It looks like Valentina has a long trek ahead of her as she attempts to climb these stairs. On a side note, just because I've been asked before, the mod I'm using to see first person is through the eyes of a Kerbal. And if you are enjoying this video, I would appreciate it if you activated the like button. Thank you. The video is currently running at times eight speed, so recording this was actually a rather arduous task. It looks like Val is nearing the top of the tower and completing our contract parameters. Now she can run back down to the plane and meet up with Jeb. It looks like running down the stairs is a whole lot easier than running up the stairs. I'd like to go ahead and highlight some of the mods I'm using for this video. These would include BD Armory Continued with the weapons extensions and Kerbal Weapon Systems. I also have the contract packed Defense Combat Advisors. Other contract packs I'm using are Anomaly Surveyor, Bases and Stations Reborn, Clever Sats, Exploration Plus, Giving Aircraft a Purpose, Tourism Plus, and Kerbinside Remastered The Life Aquatic and Kerbinside Remastered Giving Aircraft a Purpose. Some other mods you'll see are the Near Future Mods, Real Shoot, Airplane Plus, and Snacks. Hopefully, Jebediah and Valentina's return flight will be uneventful. It looks like they've wisely chosen to use the atmospheric autopilot. As long as there are no issues with the landing, we will fulfill all conditions of our contract. This will be a good boost for our agency's reputation and funding. It looks like another flawless mission by our veteran crew. Now, seeing the beginnings of the rocket program over on the island airfield means that we should probably get started on our own. Here, we are being asked to take a rocket past the Kármán line. I don't know if we'll be able to complete that on our first attempt, but hopefully we will gain valuable science and experience and be able to complete this. In addition to many civilian applications, a craft reaching these heights could probably have some military application as well. For now, let's start with a pretty simple probe. We'll put all kinds of experiments on this so we can maximize our science return for this mission. And we will go ahead and put a parachute on this so we can actually recover all of that science. There aren't any free attachment nodes on the top of this probe, so I'm using a cubic strut so I can attach our parachute on top. This then is our upper stage. We will add another rocket to the bottom and hopefully that will boost us up to at least the upper atmosphere where we can collect more science. The top of this rocket isn't very aerodynamic, and I have a lot of concerns about how we're going to keep this thing stable. So I think we're going to need some more control fins on this, and I would like to redo the parachute on top to make sure it's attached just a little better and make sure it's square. Now, with all of that, we'll double check our staging and try launching this thing up into the upper atmosphere of Kerbin. So far, the flight is proceeding nominally. The control fins are doing their job, keeping this craft stable. Now we'll go ahead and collect all the science that we can from the upper atmosphere. And we do have a few extra experiments that we'll be able to collect on the way down. So far, the craft is remaining stable and I think we're gonna be in okay shape. Our parachutes are from the mod Real Shoot, and it has been a little while since I have used that mod, so hopefully I can figure everything out and make sure our craft lands safely. The parachute pre-deployment looks good. When we get down to around 700 meters, it will fully deploy, and we should be able to gather all of this science from this launch. Everything is going wonderfully on this first launch. Hopefully, then our next launch, we will be able to get up into outer space. It looks like we probably should have put more science experiments on this so we could have gathered some information about the oceans near our science center. We have learned enough from our first launch that I think we can invest in a new rocket to help us launch even higher. We now have access to some liquid fueled rockets as well as a much more powerful solid rocket motor. I am thinking that if we design something very similar to our first rocket that we'll be able to get this thing past the Kármán line and fulfill our contract and get some science from outer space. We'll make sure to include all of the same science experiments and some batteries so our probe core doesn't run out of power. We'll put a parachute on this as well, I think similar to the last design with the cubic strut to help attach the parachute to the top. We can use the same small rocket motor to help kick this thing the last little bit into outer space and we'll use our new solid rocket motor to give this thing the big boost to get this thing very high up in the atmosphere. 
My current thinking is that only the lower stage will need the fins and control surfaces to remain stable, and then that the upper stage should be high enough and the air thin enough that it won't need any of those extra things to fly straight, but we will go ahead and see how that works out for us. Now we're ready to decouple and launch. Now we have some kind of instability here and our craft is spinning out of control. However, I think we still have enough momentum that we will be carried up past 70 kilometers than we are. Now we'll gather the science from up here. So we have fulfilled the contract anyway. It is really tricky right now to try and click on those science experiments. Perhaps next time we'll try using some kind of action group or some way to make it a little easier to gather the science. I'm not overly concerned about atmospheric heating on the way down. The heat shield is just mostly for stability to help put some mass on the bottom of this craft to make it a little bit more stable so that it'll want to re-enter properly. And we have a problem. The pre-deployment on the parachute was too early and it snapped. We are not going to recover this science. We've fulfilled the contract, but we are not going to get this science guess we learn from our mistake and don't have it deployed too early. This is why we test things with probes instead of crew first. I am Echo3. Thanks for joining me on this discussion about the Kerbal Cold War. I will see you next time.